Welcome. This video is part of a series developed to increase awareness and use of quality improvement across the health unit. In this video, we'll talk about the definition of quality and how we achieve it. Quality can be hard to define. We know it when we see it, but finding the right words to define it can sometimes be difficult. For the sake of convenience, we'll use Excellence Canada's definition of quality, meeting or exceeding the customer's agreed requirements at the lowest cost, the first time, every time. Let's break that definition down a bit. First, it's the customer who defines the quality of the service or product. That's why we need to know who our customers are. Then, we need to know the agreed requirements of our customers, which means we need to have systems in place to learn about customer requirements. This will include input from the people who purchase and use our services as they tell us about the services we are or are not providing. These systems will also let us know if we are meeting, or better yet, exceeding those requirements. Even though, as a health unit, we provide most of our services for free to the public, cost is still a big factor in quality. We want to provide the best possible service at the lowest possible cost, which means being as efficient as we can be. And finally, first time every time means getting it right 100% of the time aiming to do all of our work correctly each time. If we can do our work with no failure or defects, then we don't have to redo it, and that helps us to keep costs down and to maximize our resources. The reason I like this definition of quality is because it helps us begin to think about how do we achieve quality. Often we define quality based on the result, but this suggests that to achieve quality, we need to think about the processes and structures that create or support it along the way. This is what we meant in the first video when we said that quality improvement is about the customer and a systems approach. We need to think about our organization as a system, a collection of people, work processes, and structures that interact to enable us to do our work. Once we start to think of the health unit as a system, we can see that we want everything in the system contributing to quality. We want mutually reinforcing actions that contribute to quality in the moment, everywhere else in the system, and at the end of the day, for the customer. This is the definition of total quality, striving for and achieving quality in every aspect of the health unit's activities. Everyone's involved, everywhere in the agency, every day. No one is excluded. Once we know we're aiming for quality in everything we do, we then need to think strategically about how to achieve it. This is the definition of total quality management, which really just says that we need to take a strategic approach to managing quality across the health unit. It's total quality because we want to create and support quality in every aspect of the health unit. It's quality management because we are proactively working to create structures and to support people to create quality at each step along the way and within the system as a whole. This approach is now often called business excellence, and it's the basic model used by Excellence Canada. So, where do we start? Where do we focus our attention? Well, Excellence Canada has given us a model to use. We'll go over each of the pieces in the puzzle in more detail in the future, but for now, here are the general areas that we need to think about as we undertake quality management or business excellence work at the health unit. Leadership and governance, strategy and planning, process and project management, people engagement, partners and suppliers, and finally, customer experience. Next time, we'll look at leadership and governance. What does it include and what have we done here at the Northwestern Health Unit?